<laughs> yeah! The Bible says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Now, before I begin the message today, I would like for our church, you may be seated. I would like for our church to please, please pray for the Smith family in the search for their daughter, Megan. I understand Jane is not with us today, but her husband is here. Now, she is one of our children. And we as a church must do everything we can in helping the Smith family find their daughter. Speak to one of your members. Who? A Tariq Jamal Sadiq. What? For what? <laughs> we have a warrant for his arrest on possession of an illegal substance, attempting to distribute an illegal substance, and conspiracy on transporting an illegal substance. No. 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 Uh, there must be some kind of mistake, officer. Well, Mr. Reverend, we don't make mistakes on these type of situations. Plus, we have a witness that says they saw him distribute drugs. There has to be some kind of mistake. Tariq is a kind and respectable young man. I can't believe he would be capable of doing such a thing. Well, Mr. Preacher, man, we have a job to do. Rogers, grab a suspect. Couple. They got the wrong guy. Okay. Okay. No, 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 we got this. It's gonna be all right. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 and the only way we will defeat him is with prayer. Amen. Yes. Now we need to pray for not just Tariq, but all of our children. Yes. Let us all stand and we'll hold it. hold truth nothing but the truth, so help you God. Unlike some, I do. For the record, would you please state your name and your relationship to the defendant? I am Pastor E.L. Williams of the Community Church of Chicago. Tariq Jamal Siddiqui is a member of my church. Tariq, if I may, is a good, decent, and respectable young man. Your Honor, there's nothing bad or negative that you could say about him. And as a leader of the community, I feel this young man has been wrongfully accused. If the government won't help our children, then what? If the community leaders won't lead our children, then what? If the schools won't teach our children, then what? If the police won't protect our children, then what? If the families won't take responsibility for our kids, then what? Then if the church won't save our children, then what? then the only thing that we have to protect our children is prayer. Now, this country was founded upon prayer. And that's the only thing that we have to, to protect our children against the attacks that the devil has for them. So, saints, let's stand up and let's pray. We're going to pray for the safety of our people and our children. Yes. Yes. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? You know, I, I, I got some good news. Uh, you use that. Tarek's getting out. Oh, that is great. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, God bless. I don't, you know, yes. he amazes me all the time. He yes. is getting out finally. That's great. That's <laughs> great to hear. You know, and he's also renewed and restored his relationship with Cassandra. Cassandra? So yeah. God, is <laughs> blessed. Oh, we. You know, uh, Karen, I do have something to tell you. Uh, come here, come on, come here, sister. Now that she's talking. Yeah. Awesome. It says it's a little tough for me to say, but I, I'm going to come out with it. Okay. It's, uh, 
your mother had relationships with a man who was not kind to her. He had attacked her. He raped her. She got pregnant. But what, what I'm just saying to you is Cassandra, Cassandra is also your mother. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, dear. She, she's your mother. Cassandra's my mom. But hey, you know, it's going to be all right, girl. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Just put your trust in God. And he's got it all under control. Yes, he does. It's, it's gonna be all right, y'all. You. you know, the Lord is gonna do great things for, for all these families. Yes, Lord, he is. Somebody say why today is a good day. It's because God is bringing families together. And he's restored several families in our church today. He has restored the Smith family. And they had their daughter Megan return to them safe and yeah. sound. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He has restored Sister Vanessa and her daughter Latanya and Rhonda. And he has renewed and restored their mother and daughter relationship. Right. And last but not least, I thank God for this young lady because she's gone through so much in her life. But somebody say, but God. And God has also brought back and restored our own sister Cassandra and has renewed her relationship with her son Terry and her daughter Karen. God is good, isn't he? Now I want us all to stand in our feet and give God some praise. Because we want to thank God for what he's done in this service. Yes, he has. And I want our children to love and obey their parents and respect them. And I want our families to come together and hold hands and just be good to each other. Because in the end, family is all that we have. So stand up, stand up and be a family. Now let us all be blessed, blessed by this inspirational song as we go to our appointed destinations. Bless God, love you.